Hello and welcome to the C++ and Science YouTube channel, where I will teach you various topics around C++. I'm your host, Andreas Fertig, a trainer and consultant for C++. Today I'd like to show you, maybe once again, how C++ and Science can be helpful understanding why your code behaves as it does. So, I once was approached um, in a review situation with the following code. I have this Apple class and I create myself two objects of that Apple, Abram and Alice. And what I'm doing now is I'm moving the Abram object into Alice. Both are, by the way, sorts of Apple. So this was the case, this was the code, and somebody put it into C++ Insights and found that it generates this transformation here. You can see here is the std move of Abram, but the person noticed that there is another static cast around. And since std move essentially is a static cast to an R value of Apple, this cast here is redundant. And the question was, is this a bug in C++ Insights? First time I looked at it, I assumed, well, um, sometimes C++ Insights has bugs, so why not this one? I looked at that one moment longer, and then I noticed, wait, it says const apple ref ref. So it's not simply casting it to an R value of apple, it casts it to a const R value of apple. This is something now starting to become unlikely a bug. I would have totally accepted that I added one cast to many, but at a very weird looking cast, that's unlikely. So I asked for more context around this class. I got the following code here. You can see it's a downstream version of Apple, it was larger in the original case. But this here is the essential part. Apple came with a defaulted destructor. I see that a lot of times, sadly, I must say, that classes that do not need it provide a default destructor. If you recall your knowledge about the special member functions and when you lose them, then you might remember that once you provide your own destructor, you lose the move operations. And this is exactly what happened here. So if I do the transformation, we can see all I have here is a compiler provided copy constructor. Since move decays to a copy, this cast here casts my R value to a const R value such that it is applicable to the copy constructor. The essence of this story is you cannot force a move. It might decay to a copy. This is something for performance reasons is very important to understand and to notice. Just because you write std move, it doesn't mean that you get any performance benefit. It depends on the object you're moving and things like that will really get you in trouble if you want performance from that operation. So C++ Insights didn't have a bug. It visualized what was really going on and in the end helped us understand where we had to tweak the code to get the performance we were seeking for. I hope this episode helps you to understand the performance implications of std move and that you cannot force it a bit better and it helps you to write performant code. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.